Although Medicare's annual enrollment period ended in December, you may still be able to change your health plan. We have Dr. B, Dr. Brent Wallace from People's Health, our Medicare expert with us today. He's going to discuss the importance of Medicare's star rating system. Good morning, Doc. How are you? Hey, Tommy. I'm doing great. It's been too long. Yes, sir. What are Medicare star ratings? Sure. So, um, so the Medicare star ratings are, it's a rating system that, that, um, the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services or CMS put together, um, probably over a decade ago that rates Medicare Advantage and prescription drug plans on how they perform. And it rates them on a scale from one to five with five stars being the highest score that a, that a plan can get. And then they post those results usually every October of every year. What factors go into a star rating? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of factors that go into it. In fact, they they rate plans on almost 45 unique quality metrics and also performance metrics. And um, so what they're looking at really is they're taking into account things like how well do uh, plans help members um, access preventative care, so things like screenings for colonoscopies and mammograms and vaccines, but also they look at how well they take care of members who have chronic problems, things like diabetes and and heart disease. But then in addition to that, they also look at customer service. They look at complaints from the members. So if you've got a plan that's receiving a lot of complaints or a lot of members who've left the plan, you're going to get a lower star rating because of that as well. And then finally, they really do look at Part D coverage, how well the plans cover um, medications, how easy it is for the patients to get those medications and use them safely, and then really how is the overall experience that the member has while they're enrolled in the plan. And a lot of this comes from, you know, data that we receive when people are going to see the doctor and getting admitted to the hospital. They also go straight to the source, and they perform surveys where they actually ask members what their opinion is of the health plan that they're enrolled in. Why are star ratings important? Yeah, I mean, they're very important because they're, they're really an easy, unbiased way to compare plans kind of head-to-head. You know, so when you're looking for a Medicare plan to cover all of your problems, um, you know, anything you may need in the healthcare industry, you're obviously going to look at what benefits the plans offer you and what cost, what out-of-pocket cost you may have. But a lot of times when the plans are very similar, so the benefits and the out-of-pocket cost are the same, the star rating is really a great way to compare head-to-head and look to see which plan is actually um, satisfying their members better. So it's a good way to compare, you know, apples to apples. And, and like I said, they started this rating plan um, in 2008, and People's Health, you know, since 2018, we have had a 4.5 star or higher. So we're very excited about that. But then in particular for 2022, we're super excited to say that we are actually five out of five stars. Um, you know, so for the last five years in a row, we've really been rated one of the highest um, Medicare Advantage plans in the state. How hard is it to get all five stars and what happens if you don't score well? Yeah, it's quite difficult, you know, to get all five stars. And in fact, last year, um, only about 21 out of 400 plans in the country were rated five stars. So really only about 5% of plans can, can actually achieve that highest level. And, um, and if you receive a low star rating, so something lower than three, and you do so for three years in a row, you actually are issued a warning by Medicare, and, and they can actually prevent people from enrolling in your plan or even shut down your plan. So there were four plans in the United States that received that lowest rating of a, of a two-and-a-half star. So, you know, so it is really important. It's difficult to actually achieve, you know, that highest level. Um, but it really, you know, it's really something important to look at because it changes from year to year. All right, let's take a quick break. When we come back, we'll talk about people and how they can find information on a plan star rating and how does the Medicare star rating affect the enrollment period. 820, time for traffic now on WWL. 25 now, although Medicare's annual enrollment period ended in December, you may still be able to change your health plan. We have Dr. B, Dr. Brent Wallace from People's Health, our Medicare expert with us today, and he's discussing the importance of Medicare's star rating system. 
So, Doc, where can people find information on a plan's star rating? So really the easiest thing to do is to get online. Um, You can actually go to Medicare.gov, and um, you enter your zip code and a little bit of information about yourself, and you can actually see all of the plans that are available to you in your area side by side. And it not only allows you to compare the benefits and the the costs that you may have, but it's also going to list their star ratings. So if they're five star, then you're going to see a little star icon next to the name of the health plan. You'll also be able to see any plans that may be very low performing. They may have a little alert icon next to them as well. And like I said, you know, these ratings come out every October, and then they're um, applicable for the next year. You, you may find a few plans that don't have any star rating listed, and that's because they're too new. Um, so brand new plans actually don't get star ratings for a couple of years, so you can't actually compare those sometimes to the plans that have been around for longer. Medicare can be confusing these days. How can a person get answers to their questions? Yeah, they can, you know, you can go online and find a lot of information, like I mentioned, but one of the best things you can do is actually come by and see us at our People's Health Medicare Center. We opened it last October. It's right at the intersection of Veterans and North Causeway. Um, It's next to Party City, and it's a great place to actually come in, meet with somebody in person, ask all of your questions, you know, uh, really have a a good discussion. You know, we do welcome walk-ins, but you can also make appointments as well. Um, What's really neat about this location, too, though, is that we host a variety of classes as well. So we have speakers that come from all over the area. Um, We'll present things like Medicare 101 and other educational activities. Um, But sometimes we actually do fun activities as well. We have music therapy. Uh, This week we're actually doing some Mardi Gras mask making and arts and crafts. So it's a a really great uh, place to come and actually interact with other seniors and and learn a little bit uh, while you're doing that. So we've got all those listings uh, at peopleshealth.com slash wellness. And how can you find out more about People's Health? Yeah, you can actually go to our website, peopleshealth.com. We've got a lot of information on there. You can actually call us at the Medicare Center. That's 1-800-315-8782. We're there to answer any questions that you may have. All right. Thank you, Dr. B. I appreciate your time. Have a good weekend. Thanks, Tommy. You too. All right, that's Dr. B, Dr. Brent Wallace from People's Health, our Medicare expert discussing the importance of Medicare's star rating system. You can always go to peopleshealth.com. You can learn more about star rating at peopleshealth.com slash five stars. You can find a monthly list of events on their website, peopleshealth.com slash wellness. You can call 1-866-687-7335, 1-866-687-7335, and you can follow People's Health on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.